Hello everyone, I'm Red, and welcome back to Outlast 2. Well, uh, you may notice a couple things right off the bat. You can actually hear me. You can actually hear the game this time. And yeah, so you know how I mentioned that I was that I was going to go through all these notes when I had time. It's time. The babe is coming, ready the knife. The babe is coming, knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. It's a song, okay. Oh, fuck me. Didn't see shit, pal. My love, please try to be as strong as you can. Papa tells us at every service that God remembers us, our sins, and our dreams. And we've got to face our sins if we want to get right with God. If the visions are getting worse, and the dreams are in our waking eyes, it just means that the tribulations are coming closer and that'll be hard. But there's paradise on the other side. God loves us, and don't ever, don't never give us more than we can handle. Yours always, Philip. The Gospel of Sullivan Noth, Chapter 11, 7. Now the breaching of hell's cunts drew nigh, and the night air sang with the grinding edges of the midwives' blades. And the enemy, fearful even in his prison, reached out and into the heart of Sullivan's dearest and most trusted disciple, who was called Val and secretly stiff-necked and uncircumcised of heart. Val's mind descended among the damned and hated of God, and communed with the enemy, and bathed in the seed of the spider-eyed lamb. Val betrayed the temple gate, and God, and even Sylvan Noth, who had loved true and would guide the chosen to salvation. And God said, let Val and all heretics suffer a thousand tortures, and seven times seven, that in suffering, and shame before death, and in eternity ever after. Paul. As long as you got poppin' offs here, I'm asking that you tell him a worrisome story that I hope is only my fears and nothing factual. The chief among his deacons, Val, came to me before sunrise this morning with an offer that was not fully described. Val acted like somebody offering something secret and sexual in nature. But by my knowledge of Val and his character, it frightened me terribly, and I would not accept any such invitation. Val would not further explain, and told me that there are places in our hearts Papa Noth cannot reach. Though, truth be told, Val seemed more interested in other areas of my body. I asked Val to return this evening once I had a chance to think it over. But it is only so that Noth may send some men of firm character to secretly witness what I suspect is blasphemy and betrayal, and cut it off before any harm is done. I hope Papa can help, as I am dreadfully scared. Ruth. <clears throat> the Gospel of Sullivan Noth. Chapter 11, 7 to Unknown. Now the breaching of Hell's cunt was close. Wait, have I already read this? Yeah, I've already read this. Okay, notes dealt with. How are we looking for the, uh, for the stalkers? There's literally someone right outside the door. Fuck me. And just judging by the light there. They're near. Yep. They're real near. 
So I have two options. Lay here and wait until they pass, or try predator stealth my way out the window. Really, either one would work. But I'm sure I know which one you guys want to see. Ah, shit. Didn't see shit, pal. You did not see anything. Alright, alright, we good. You're creepy. Is this locked? Okay. Flashlight. Nothing. Shit. Oh, fuck me. Really? Any reason, buddy? D did you just smash down the door just so that you could fucking... Ugh. Okay, alright. Just give me a moment, guys. Okay. So, before I was interrupted, we were running for our lives, were we not? So let's get back to doing that. This looks like a terrible idea. Ah, fuck me. Okay, still got my camera. Still got my ch my arm wound. All right, we good. Oh, I get a little bit of extra brightness while the camera's up. Okay. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry. Just... I remember this. Shit. How the fuck do I get out of here? There's no picture. Just noise, but I saw it. I know I saw it. No, you didn't, buddy. Buddy, I think you might be going insane. Just a tad. Like, I'm not saying that you've gone full wackadoo, but you're getting there, buddy. Jessica. And you win. When we were... When yep, okay, so... Oh, fuck. Back in my okay, so my hunch was right. <laughs> we're gonna be getting hints at flashbacks into his past for most of the game. Alright. Well, dude was nice and shiny. No need for any of that. Any batteries? Uh, I'll pass. Never mind, I won't pass. Responsibility. Yeah, alright. 
Like, now we have some light. Look at how fucked up his arm is, honestly. Yeah. Why'd I do this? That was actually pointless. So if it, we're keeping with the demo, the jump scare should be any second now. Hey buddy, how you doing? I'm just gonna go in here, not my problem. Game? Okay. Fuck me. Oh, hold on a tick. Did it just move itself? I don't like it. You better not you may, better not fucking crawl out of there, I swear to god. So buddy, you just gonna hang out there? I mean I'm cool if you do. Camera's acting up a bit. Catholic school. The way of success. So he's a Catholic, eh? How fitting that he ends up in this fucking purgatory of religious guilt. So, buddy, do you feel like moving, or is this just your job? You stand at the end of the hallway and look menacing. Your face is untextured. I just want to point that out, buddy. Come at me, pal. Thank you. You're not actually that spooky, man. You'd have to have done something for it to be spooky. Do I have any batteries? Of course. Of course I would have no way of knowing. Uh, two batteries, three bandages, okay. Okay, so the battery starts to act up when it hits three bars. Speaking of, let me just... And it just acts up in general here. Anybody home? A winter's evening. I hear movement. I hear a lot of movement, actually. Or I'm hallucinating. That's fine. Yeah, that's locked. Why do I always go into washrooms in horror games? It's always a bad idea. It's literally never a good idea. Never ever. Uh, yeah, Blake, I know you love that stall. Probably made love in that stall. But, uh, you wanna open the, gl the mysterious glowing blue stall? No? Nothing actually in there? Okay, whatever, not my problem. What a well rendered exit sign. Seriously, look at how it just faintly glows. Actually, it looks really nice. Uh, I think I had a point here. If I don't anymore. Rip. No, nothing. Okay, closed itself behind me. That's one less thing I need to do. And out into the winter wonderland. And it's too fucking snowy. Yep, night vision is giving me snow blindness. Great. 
So I have to fulfill this one by my near sight. Great. Nothing. Perfect. Perfect. Out. Uh, shit. And back to reality. I think. Get your glasses. There you go. You got your glasses. You're him, ain't you? The outsider. Oh, so they killed you, didn't they? No. Uh, not yet. Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Thanks, buddy. Who are you? My name's Ethan. What do you mean? Are you one of them? Seriously? And which side are Ethan. You Ethan. Why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been. How many characters in horror games are named but fucking Ethan? Honestly. The, the heretics. Didn't say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain with nah. Pressed himself in my enemy. She got but fifteen. I'm sorry. Pedophilia. I'm getting some real Traeger vibes off of you, buddy. I gave her a chance to run. Spun them in some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably most. Jane Doe. <laughs> Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You seen her? It's why we came here. Is she all right? Just tell me she's okay. She's fine. Blake, buddy. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, thank God. Blake, thank buddy. God I know you don't want. I know you want. Can want to save yourself, you but. But. Thanks, E10. It's all right. You just relax here. I'll keep you safe. You rest up. And heal. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Ethan sounds like a cannibal. Can't carry more bandages. I uh, haven't really been using them, have I? <sighs> well, ain't nothing for it but sleep, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, just rest your, rest your fucking skull there, uh, Ethan. Or, Blake. Please, Blake. Where are you? I'm scared. Was. Brother, don't need your help in finding the devil's whore that corrupt me. No questions even now, other heretics at chapel. God will guide. Man, Eaton's getting his shit kicked in up there. No. Okay, hardo. Oh. 
and rip eaten. I guess he wasn't gonna betray me. He was just gonna. Wow, that's fucking annoying. I need to turn off my my fucking phone's vibrator. Anyways. I don't really want to come out. Christ, look at all the blood dripping. Fuck, man. I hope you find your daughter. Well, if you had stuff on your side, oh fucking she is beat him to death something about finding Lynn something about a, a chapel oh right so I found out why why uh, Blake here sounds so familiar uh, so I did a bit of digging and as it turns out his voice actor he also voiced both the player characters of the first outlast but because he didn't talk it didn't snap immediately However, his screams sound real familiar now, don't they? Because same fucking guy. I mean, fine, he's doing a good job. But still. Battery. Chain. Death drop. Well. Oh, fuck me. Nah, we're good, we're good. Taint nothing here but us. I can't quite get a good picture on her. But this seems like as good a place as any to cut it off, guys. Er, okay, or not. Get the dirt. Okay. This seems as good a place as any to cut it off. So, guys. This is going pretty well. We've already met some interesting characters. Got a bit more of a look at our uh, leading man. And so far, it's going pretty great. Surprisingly low on the gore for an Outlast game, honestly. But, you know, who knows? Maybe there will be more next next time. Only one way to find out. Come back next time. And until then, I'll catch you guys later.